Hello everyone! Welcome back for some more Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, uh, nothing happened between parts. Don't worry, I pretty much exclusively uh, did nothing because I was playing other games. Uh, and plus I didn't want to leave from here or explore because we just got to this area and I don't want to be... I don't want to be missing out on any cool new things, especially because it is this new area. Uh, let's pop in some stuff, and let's organize, which is the best button ever, and let's see, I should probably start using some of these things here, because um, some of these are definitely going to be our team that we're going to be using throughout, right? Um, well, I'm not, you know what, I might not use that on them. Let's get Nobunaga ready to go. So your special attack is pretty much maxed out. Um, let's go with some. You need HP, really. Okay, and now you're maxed out there. And let's go with a special defense for water and all that. And finally, um, let's get some of this on you to increase your HP even higher. Because you're going to be a big, big boy. And finally, uh, you're going to get your special attack increased even more cool beans i'm actually not gonna use the grit dust right now and apparently um you are supposed to be uh throwing uh releasing rather your pogies after you get them in the uh the place like if you are collecting more than one which i don't know how good i feel doing that but i guess we can give that a shot later uh let's get some wing balls because i'm definitely going to be using those Craft some potions, and from those potions, craft some super potions, because I can. Um, this cures any status condition. We don't really need that per se. And let's grab some of these just so that we can have them just in case. I think the main purpose you're going to be using the scatterbangs is actually because uh, by scaring off Pokemon, you get others to spawn. That's the purpose, right? You might be like, why would you want to scare away Pokemon? And the answer is quite simple. By doing that, you can get new ones. And so people that are shiny hunting or anything of the like, they can do that there. So let's make our way up. Let's see here. Grab some of that. And I definitely want that up there. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that can go very long range. Good to know. Whoa, you can climb trees! That's actually rad. I did not know that'd be a thing. I thought those were metapods for a second. No, they're beans. I did not mean to actually go there. No, no, okay. I want to go here. Alright, ooh, Gliger. Okay. Hey, Gliger, are you interested in some beans? Very cool. Yeah! Good, good, good. Got a Gliger. Cool. We can get another one over here, too. Oh, my man's... Is, I thought he was on a tree. He's not. I think I can get him from... Ooh, it's going to be close. I'm going to... Roll into here. Okay. I like the... The Stardew Valley music. That's when I hear that little, like, the, that instrumentation. That's what I think about. Shoot. That's fine. We missed. There we go. Nope, we missed you. Oh, he totally sees us. Okay, uh, you're... We need Psychic. Okay, there we go. Let's... Mud Bomb, that's a bit annoying. Yeah, the, the being young obscure is not the best. Can I do double? And uh, it's gonna miss. I think it's a very high chance of missing when you do it like that. 
There we go, that hit. You're not poison! I always forget! I literally said in a previous part, yeah, my man's not poison. I'm so mad. We can wave crash at you at least, I guess. I can't believe I done... I done goofed on myself a second time. Alright. Uh, let's just do Ice Fang for now. Good that hit, even with it being obscured. Literally. Literally every time. I'm a fake Pokemon fan. Remove, remove my Pokemon fan license. Shouldn't be allowed. Someone on YouTube is going to say that one day. Just because I get something, like, slightly wrong. Or they, or they misinterpret something that I say. Which, honestly, is worse. Yeah, these guys are going to disappear in a sec. There's no ghosts in the day. Climb up. What's up here? Oh. Wild Gibble, huh? Definitely want one of those. Okay, so let's start by... Gibble will probably want to eat. Yep. Oh, is it snowing? Alright. Got him while he's chewing. Okay. It's fine. Okay, no, he saw me. Ow. Alright. Let's start. Oh, you're very, you're very low in your uh, stuff there. So let's just do a quick crunch, I guess, to try and get you here. Oh, good. Perfect. That's the right amount. Yo, look at me. I'm like all frosty. That's kind of cool. Um, let's then use just a great ball. Okay. Nice. I was a bit worried because when it does the shake, that's like usually they're they're struggling a bit. Oh, and that gave us some salt, huh? That's what we need. Okay, so thinking of trying to let's see what level is this guy at. I mean, I'm not gonna catch him. There's no way in heck. But what uh, what level is he to see if I can beat him up? Fifty six. Not too bad. All right, we caught him unaware. Okay. Yep. Let's start with an Ice Fang. Nice. Yep. Outrage. Uh-oh. Oofies. Owies. He's going to be stuck doing that. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Uh... I mean, we might be able to catch him, actually. Dude, if we can get an Alpha Garch... Aw, oh, well, too bad. I was going to say, if we get an Alpha Garchomp, that'd be wild. But this this feels like a guaranteed spawn. So, you know what? Let's pop this on our map here. Because you can tell when it's a... A, um, a random, like, Alpha. Because it's not in an area where you look at it and go, Oh, yeah, that's a... You know, oh, my goodness. That statue there. Oh boy, I got, uh, got a little excited. Hey, well, we're madame. Look how close we are. That's hilarious. Uh, let's do play rough. And it didn't work. Silver wind, okay. Let's do play rough. Buddy. Buddy, do you want to try and use your move? Come on. There we go. What a good animation on that, too. Okay. I need to catch one of you, so you know what? Let's do a quick slash. All right. That killed you. Oh, well. That's yeah, fine. At least we saw that form, right? Is that a Bonsley? That's a Suyamudo. <laughs> I like him being a little shocked. 
Oh, interesting. It just will tell you. Click here to, to get Sneasler out. That's cool. You can eat. Oh, wow. You can even, like, straight platform with it by falling onto stuff. That's cool. That's real cool. That's a. That's a nose pass over there. I want the nose pass. He's turned around also. Nice. Will he pass through the nose? Yes. My nose has passed. Okay, so yeah, this is a statue to Pokemon with an air of the, the, the divine ancient people must have worshipped it. Oh, well, I was going to say, just the one? Here's the other. Are you, like, friendly? You are. You're like a... I am happy that Sudowoodo are friendly, unassuming Pokemon. Are you? You're not. Good to know. Just checking. It, it is neat seeing all the different dispositions of Pokemon. Right? To see how they all sort of act. Nice. Goodbye. I wonder if you simply have to... Um, I don't even know what was seeing me there. I'm sorry, is this a gosh dang chest? Can you break it open? Yo, look at us. We're doing proper Pokemoning and we got a Ultra Ball. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm just looking around too because it's like... Like, what, what, what is this area, you know? It's cool. Okay. Got another Wisp. I really like this zone. This zone is rad. Alright, let's climb up. What else do we got here? Ooh. Big ol' Luke's Ray. He can't see me in the tree, can he? Wow. I can seemingly use this like a hunting area. Like well, like how hunters, they do the, uh... Hunters do their hunting stoops or whatever. I should know about that. My family are hunters. There's something in the box over there. Okay, well, let's... You know, let's just deal with you. Just to deal with you. We got them both? Okay, that's fine. Won't be too much. Let's just do a high horsepower. If we do two of those, we should be good. Okay. Because what are you going to do? Yeah, bro. What you going to do? You know what? I could probably just kill you with a strong slash. Save my pee pee. Okay. Curious as to what's in the box over here. What's in the box? Oh, hello! It's the Voltorb, friend. I want to catch one of you. No effects. Let's just do a quick slash. Don't want to hurt you too much, because I want to catch you. Okay, good. And I mean, I got to catch you in the ball that resembles you, right? That's just how it works. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Old Forbes caught. Oh, there's just a bunch of them here. They're like not like exclusive to that, huh? Are these boys friendly? I don't know if they are. All right. There's another one over here, wasn't there? Yes, there is. Backstrike! Alright. So. It's fine. I don't really need to deal with you guys. We're going over here. Are we already at his site? I kind of want to see if I can head up there. Right? Right? Because, like, I'm here, man. Why would I not want to actually just head up there? 
There's a Bronzor. Yeah, the good news is, hello. Oh, it's more salt. Good. We need, I think, one more of those. We have a good Pokemon. There we go. Perfect. We have a good Pokemon to actually deal with the electric. We actually have a couple. Oh, it's a Rhyhorn. Because we have because we have both fire and um, fire and ground there, which will be useful. One thing we got to watch out for is, of course, oh, and bug too. Actually, bug with Cleavor could be really good. We just got to watch out for its grass type stuff. At least if at least if it's still grass electric, it might not be. I don't actually know what typing it's going to be. So, what is that? Oh, that's that's his that's his gun tank. Hello. Welcome to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've been I've not been exactly supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life, embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you wish to uh, defeat me and gain entry to Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, Scun Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. Like this prim and proper dude. And it's like, ooh, I'm going to fart on you. I'm going to fart on you so badly. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if I were to fart on you? Wow, three? Bro, you brought out three? Bro, that's cringe. You know what's more cringe? The fact that all three of you guys have weaknesses that I'm going to exploit. You want cringe? I'll show you cringe. Alright. Yeah, whatever. We're going to high horsepower you. Oh, wait, that's not very effective on you? Yeah, well, okay, so we'll just do this for now. Yeah, get out of here. Look at him. All right. I use another high horsepower to finish this off. Nice. Yeah, pff, what were you saying, bro? What were you saying, bro? Nice. Nice. Honestly, I might switch out um, Lilligant for Electrode, depending on if I, I... Like, I've seen how he looks, but I haven't seen him in motion, so I'll see how... I'll see what I think. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked your time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Uh, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending fonts of wisdom. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it? Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad. Anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Akari? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamin! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what she needs to find just like that? Lest we forget, I'll forget. You're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how, he suff how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help Akaria here. This is bigger than what the team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell her that she needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to her. My man licks salt. Now it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine, at the end of the day. 
Let none say the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll make your precious bombs. Literally just balls of salt that we're going to throw at him. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so check all you like an electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Bruh, you sure about that? I got a good team. I got a great team. Okay, let's see here. Well, these bombs do smell pretty delightful. They smell like salt. Salt doesn't smell great. I mean, I guess maybe. I went to salt mines. It smelled fine. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode? Yeah. <laughs> You've got a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode. Or you'll be dead in no time. Oh, he's going to bring down Lightning, I'm guessing, that we got to keep running from. Saw another mural on the wall there. That's a big tree. Are those his babies? Oh, he's big. I'm surprised it didn't do a yo, right? Because he looks like a kabuki with the way his face goes there, right? Oh, it's the eye sockets still. I just realized he's the same eye sockets. They're just different. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, wow. You. Oh, wow. You weren't kidding. You weren't kidding about having to keep moving, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, how do I get rid of these exactly? I can't hit them. They last a long time. They last kind of ridiculously long. Wow, okay. Oh, is he going to discharge? Are you asking to be blown up? There we go. All right. Here we go. Show him your power. All right. Thunder wave. That's a little annoying. That's fine. We should still be able to hit him pretty hard here. Uh... Did you regular flamethrower? Oh, yeah. Can you hit, please? Oh, I wish there was a way to easily get rid of these. I'm actually shocked at how action-y this is. Okay. Okay, yeah, this fight kind of sucks compared to the others so far. At least, maybe I'm stupid, but I don't exactly know what to do to get rid of those. Okay, so he's doing that again. wonder if I can get him back. Let me see if I can get him from the back and catch him unaware. No, he's spinning. Never mind. Okay. All right. Oh, and it healed my paralysis there. That's good. All right. Never mind. So I can just do a regular... I wonder if Mystical Fire will work with him. Will that be enough? Yep. Okay, I'm just going to get up and throw.
Okay. Woo! That was close. That hit. That one's blue? Why is that one blue? Oh, it's faster. That one will catch up to me. Ah! I'm almost fine with it hitting me. Whoop! Dang it! Gotta go. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh. This is actually way close. This, the, the, the amount of phases is actually kind of incredible. And uh oh, like the amount of, the amount of different ways that you can potentially get hit and the, the escalation is huge. So I'm going to do a sword stance to start and we'll do sword stance and then X scissor. And that should finish him off here in one go. Yep. All right. This should be enough. Yes, it is. I hate how you get a free hit if you're just mashing there at the end. Like as in it hits you. I thought it was going to go up its little hole. <sighs> yeah, I don't love the electro design. Because I see how it, the eyes changed and stuff. And it's neat, but I kind of wish they did more with it. You know, I wish that there was a little bit more to its change. Got the zap plate. Very nice. All right. Bye. This one went very quickly. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes, but now the Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever. It's so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electra looks relieved to me. Glad its suffering's ended, probably. Oh, come on, Adamin. Seriously, that's just wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, because if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. Now, what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after Akari did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They'd always look toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds with, of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too, with everything I suppose. If people and Pokemon work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like an Ingo described to Akari? Sure was. I never thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokémon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokémon can reach their potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased uh, once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adamant, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right, open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, only offer friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow, for that is when time's flow will cease. And there you have it. Bravo, excellent. 
Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Akari. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time I will really make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Akari to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisu will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, Akari. Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electro until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Yeah, wow, that was, uh... That one came and went much faster than pretty much everything else. Also, I knew I could climb this tree. I mean, I also hurt myself falling down, but... Uh, before we go back, I do want to explore a bit. I want to see what else there is here, right? Because we're here, and we're near the top. That's pretty exciting. I wonder if there's going to even be anything preventing me from going up here? Or if it's just a... Like, what's to say? I mean, my fainted Pokemon, perhaps, but... I want to go up. Like, this is this is Spear Pillar up here. Better be... I wonder if it's still going to be called Spear Pillar. So let's actually go where there are proper Pokemon. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Electrode. Or like kid, rather. I called him Electrode. There we go. That should get... I mean, it's a... Baby Pokemon are actually ridiculously hard to catch. For some reason... I don't have enough satchel space? Dang, for what? What did he drop? That's fine. Uh, baby Pokemon, for some reason, have a ridiculously low catch rate, and I will never know why. Uh, let's give this to you for now. And otherwise... We'll just give this to you... Give you some uh, speed up. There you go. Clear out my inventory a bit. Yo, okay. Oh, there's two alphas. There we go. I can catch him, probably. The other... Level 70! Well, I can catch it, but I won't be able to control it. Or I will just kill it. Okay. 70. 7-0. Seven Dang, bro. Dang, bro. Alright, let's... These guys are probably... Just as powerful. I'm gonna run from that. Hi? Stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. Stone portal, huh? Interesting. So is there any... Oh? Oh, yeah. We can't go up there. Okay. There is a proper, like... A proper barrier, huh? Okay, well, uh, in that case, I guess we'll make our way down, look for any other new Pokemon. Oh, there's, uh, Alpha Machop. Might be fun to battle and try and catch. He nearly, he, I nearly got that, but I was too high up. Level 40? Okay. Okay. I was too high up for that. Okay. Let's go with size shield. And we're still killing him in one go. That's fine. 
Mostly just trying to beat up these dudes. Okay. That was there. This was another path we could have gone, yeah. Can we go over here? Oh no, that's that's the edge of the map. So yeah, where are we? We're like, oh, okay, I see we're up here. So that, yeah, we, we stone portal was there. Stone portal. Okay. Okay. Lonely Spring, Climber Claw, Ancient Quarry, Wayward, Heavenward. Okay, so I'm actually going to go this way, and we're going to go south from here to see what else there is, because this is a whole new area, too. Let's see what's this way. Yeah, let's go check it out. And again, the fact you can just tap to, like, go change, I love that. Oh, I saw a thing there. Whoa, shoot, it's Rodham. Are you serious? Oh, Miss Magius is down there, too. Does Rodham... Oh, there's just tons of them. I did not think that Rodham would be this, like, common. Obviously no appliances yet. Okay, let's see here. I love Rodham! Okay. Let's try our hands at catching a Rodham here. Yeah, it's not gonna work, bud. Part normal type. Um... Let's just do a play rough, because I don't want to kill him. Yep, that's about right. Yeah, but your your moves will not affect me. Like, none of them will. Okay, let's go with that. I do wonder if if there's a chance to get a Rodham catalog through, like, uh, one of the time-space portals. Tumblestone and Grit Dust. What sees me? Oh, is that a mischievous that sees me there? We need to catch one of them. So. There we go. Good. Are you going to attack me? No, you ran. Turn around. Turn around. Well, there we go. Let's at least kill another one, too. Gotta fill it up in its poger decks. High horsepower. Alright, yeah. It's fine by me. Almost stone. Almost looks like a gravestone. Well, of course there's one here, huh? 17 wisps remaining in the area. Wonder if it doesn't see me. I did not catch that one unaware. He's gonna run? Okay, I was gonna say, are they are they cowardly? I wouldn't think so. Let's do a quick crunch. Okay, and you know what? We'll we'll catch you too. Let's use it's one of these great balls. Might as well, since we're here. Okay. Should try and... What level are you? 61? Yeah, it's a bit too much for me right now. I think I'm good. Can look for more bogeys. Head on down to this area where we haven't been. Especially now that we can more easily scale the cliffs. Ooh, Alpha Golem. 
No wonder it's the boulder roll ravine, huh? What level are you? 60. That's fine. I'm just going over here to get this. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah, let's not deal with all of you. Okay. Grabbing that salt. I love the salt. Okay. A choke. Let's see. Not much else really here. Just a lot of, uh... A lot of Haunter. I mean, I get it, it's like the evening, but still. That is off limits. Okay. Uh-oh. That's fine. Oh, I love the fact you can do that. I wish Sneasler could run here, but I get it. She doesn't want to shake me up in her little Nezuko box. Okay. Magnet, uh, there's Magneton up there. Mag Magna, Magna Zone. Magna Zone, that's it. Look at him flying around. Got some Magikarps in the water. Scun tanks. I wonder if we're going to get a Pokemon that can jump up waterfalls, actually. Or if, or if, or if, if you get the, the ability to after. What are those in the air? Oh, Blossoms. Oh, and hey, look, there's a Basculin. So Basculin are super tough to catch because of the fact they are so cowardly. They are so, so, so cowardly compared to most Pokemon. Um, like you, like you, you try and even approach them and they uh, run from you. So if I try and like lure him over here. Nope. See? So that's why I was so curious. I'm like, why is Basculin like so tough to catch? And the answer is because he is cowardly. Like, what I gotta do, is I gotta, like... Okay. Did that work? That's probably the best way to get him, honestly. Is to just hope and pray that you get it through... <laughs> through that method. Because you can't battle them. Right, they try and, uh... Try and do stuff on ya. Don't have any more space for mushroom, that's fine. Can't get that. Okay, so what's in this area here? I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything of particular note. Maybe maybe at a certain time this area spawns a certain type of Pokemon? I don't know. Now, it looks like I sh might be able to actually get up there. Let's see. Fabled Spring. Well, there's also this area over here. See, I can climb up here. Okay. Where's that Magna Zone? I wonder. I wonder. They said this is for catching Pokemon way up in the sky, right? wonder how far this goes. Wow, okay. Gotta be a bit closer than that, huh? I bet you his frame rate has to at least be normal. Nope. Wow! There we go. So there is a distance, huh? Wow, okay. Also, space-time distortion here sounds really intriguing. Where is it? Right up here? Okay, yeah, I'm really curious as to what a space-time distortion here will have. So. Whoa! Okay. You can kind of catch yourself if you're falling. I love, I just love how... You have the jump off that is like, just like, yeah, don't worry, just jump back on. See, I can see the space-time distortion over there. So let's, let's go up here, though. 
climb up where this waterfall is. I guess you don't need to climb up waterfalls because there's always rocks around a waterfall, right? So you don't need to go up a waterfall. Oh, but frick, you know what? We will need to go and drop off some items. Let's go do that right now. Yeah, because uh, if we're if we're full on items, we can't do too much. That's crazy that this camp that felt like it was so much work to get up here is just like just right here. Like it's just not too far. Okay, get some of these put away. All right, and then organize the satchel, and then make some more. Um, Let's see. I mean, these these are very useful for just catching from afar. Some of those, some of those. Okay, so let's go uh, back up here and then back down there. Because, hey, you can get, as they say, rare Pokemon in there. So uh, what, what's a rare Pokemon, you know, out here? Because in the other areas, they've, there's been some very interesting ones. So... We get up. Nope. This is this is the fog of no going is right here. Okay. So Rodham are always spawned. They don't have to be at night. Got it. Good to know. All right. Let's see. Just take a look around, seeing what's here. They'll despawn in a little bit, anyways. Okay, so. Might as well just kill this dude just to get rid of him. So I have a spot to be safely. And wave crash. Goodbye. Nice. Oh, he's hurting a bit now. My man's hurting just a little bit, just a smidgen. Okay. There's no alpha Pokemon here, is there? Because I always felt like it's always seemingly spawning around an alpha. But I don't necessarily see that as the case this time. Let me try some of these scatterbangs. Oh, does he not care at all? Oh, he does not care. Okay, interesting. I guess that scares off smaller Pokemon, huh? Again, I, if they're if every single one is programmed to have like a reaction to the stuff, that's really cool. All right, here we are. Should probably get to the grass. What do we got? Shards. What's this? This looks like dust. Alright, what's gonna spawn in? What was that? Octillery? I mean, sure. Might as well try to get that. Why is there an Octillery here? Space and time distortion. That's all I gotta say. Sylveon's right there. Shoot. Got... Okay, let's see if we get you. We did! Okay, we got a Sylveon. Very cool. Ooh, what is that? What? What's the ball? Oh, it's a nugget. But more importantly, there's a Fossilmon there, and that's more important, honestly. Dubious disc. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. We Oh, no, we can get a Porygon Z, because we got a Porygon too. Are you able to be caught, little guy? Nope. Okay, well, you know what? Let's try and just do this. Okay. How many opponents do we have? Three? That's fine. Let's get rid of you first. Okay. All right. So we can get a Bastiodon. Play rough. Oof. Ow. Okay. Well. Fainted. Um, let's see here. You know what? If we get uh, Nobunaga, we can get rid of 
you and then do some damage, but not a lot to the other guy. Rocks the... Uh-oh. Owie, wowie. Mimic? I was going to say, what, what are you going to mimic, bro? Uh, Iron Tail, super effective. Okay. Can we get defense up, please? Just a little defense up as a treat? Nope. All right. Shield on is definitely kind of one of the rare spawns here. So we definitely want to get one of these. Um, we can try... Well, I don't want to do that because there's no real point. We can do energy ball with you and that should do very small damage. Energy ball is not very strong. You know what? Can we do hypnosis? We can do hypnosis at least. Okay. Get him. Get him. Drowsy. Too drowsy to move. Good. And now let's do... Sure. Don't kill him. What the frick did I say? Dang it. It's absolutely not what I wanted, huh? Okay, well, at least there's there's probably another chance of them spawning here. Okay. I wonder if they're even in the decks. Get some Stardust. Okay. There's Octillery over there who's frozen in time. Jolteon, Eevee. Again, I want a, I want a Fossil Boy. Let's see. That was scary. Eevee. Eevee's a natural spawn, so I'm like actually not worried. I wonder if you can get Sylveon naturally, or do you have to go? Oh. Okay, let's try you. All right, it's no, okay, just you, good. Let's do Swords Dance. Okay, all right. Earth Power, how much is that gonna do? Not a lot, okay, good. Okay, and now let's go. Let's do another Swords Dance, and then we can try False Swipe and just do as much damage as possible with zero chance of killing. We can't do it. I'm waiting till we can get a heavy false swipe. That's going to be real nice. Okay. All right. Oof. Okay. All right. Let's have Weird Ear use uh, Hypnosis again, but we're not going to actually... We're not going to actually hit it here. We're just going to do Hypnosis. Because it is very low... Um, yeah, okay, it has very low, uh, special defense. Can you hit him? Alright. Aw, oh, frick, he's going twice. Okay, well. No status effect for that. Um, I don't think we have anything else with a status effect. We can at least use Slash on you, which will be very weak. Okay. I mean, it does get stabbed, but let's go very weak. 55 power. This should do very little damage. Don't crit. Thank you. Don't crit. 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 Thank you. Iron defense. Okay. All right. A Pokemon befitting of a heavy ball. That's you. Oh, small shake. Nice. Shield on has been caught. Good stuff. All right. Just stick around to see if there's anything else new or crazy. Ow. Get all these items, too. Okay. All right. This should be just about over. Yeah, I think we did get the... The actual rare spawn here.
Okay, well. Run from you, because we could catch some of these guys, but we got to be already away from them pretty much. But you can't be... You can't sneak up on them, right? Let's see. We're going to get one more round of them. One more wave. What was that up there? Another octillery. We get anything else? We get anything else to spawn. Spawn in a place where I can hide from them. Nope. Alright. I think we got. But oh! Ow, but I want you. I want you, little Gremblino. I want you. Okay, let's let's get rid of these other guys. We can do that pretty quickly here. Yeah, poison. That's not gonna. It's not gonna do much here. Okay, so let's use high horsepower. Actually, you can hurt me the most, so let's kill you with uh, the thunder punch. Or well, just regular thunder punch. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And you're going to do Fire Punch. Okay. Ursa Luna is the best. Right? Like, we agree. Ursa Luna is the MVP. What a sick Pokemon who's actually so good. Okay. Rock Slide. So I'm going to do a very weak move on it, too. Yeah, let's do a light slash. Very light. I know he's not the most defensive, but... Perfect. Okay. Alright, that's fine. So I'm gonna faint it. I think we could try catching him right away here. Could do a poison jab. Poison jab should do very little damage to him. Right? Very little damage. Or we could do stun spore, because we get two turns with it. If you were to hit... There we go. Take my stun spore. That won't do much. Hit. Let me try then a great ball. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Caught us some fossil mons. Good stuff. And it ended. All right. Well, let's get out of here before we, uh... Before we get out. That was a large specimen, too. I kind of wish I could get an alpha, but that's fine. Okay, you know what? I am happy with that. Let's... I'm being targeted by a Pokemon. Let's make our way out. Well, we can uh, hit this off as a alpha. Okay, are right, we good now? Okay, we're good now. So let's head on back. Overall, well, a bit rough at the end there. Good job, team. We got some more items to sell, which is going to be quite nice. Got some, uh, where's our selling items? These here. Sell all those. We'll do that later. All right. Let's go turn this in. Like a report? Yes. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me in. Pokemon catching efforts of bearing fruit. Report? Look at all them. Look at all of them. 21. 20 different species. Different ones. Caught for the first time. Caught in space-time distortions. Caught with a backstrike. Big money. Nice. Seems made some... Okay, so there's going to be a lot here, huh? It's going to be a lot of them. Ursaloon is still not maxed out. Gotta use double edge and oh we don't even I don't even think we have headlong rush, which is a move that I should probably get with it, huh? Yeah. Sui inform. Okay. That says Rodham. That implies there are more forms. That implies there's more, because it does say Rodham there, right? 
Because you see the ones with male or female differences, or like this, where you have the different cloaks, right? Right? So, that makes it look almost explicitly like, oh, yeah, look at this, male, female. Look at that. You can barely tell, but there is a difference. Is there male and female Earths or Luna? No, they're the same. But yeah, so that's good to know. Oh, wow. I've never noticed that. Oh, this is the nicest for seeing the gender differences because you can click really quickly and it shows you. Good stuff. We're going to absolutely hit that next rank. Yep. Look at that. Splendiferous got a new ranking. Heck yeah. Quelled Lord Electrode, splendid job. Let's go out the village. Time to report to Commander Kamado. Let's go and do that. We also got some new stuff to, uh, to report in otherwise, such as... We got your mischievous. In the mood for a sal change about your request. Mischievous is right here. Uh, this one has better defense and speed. Eh, we'll just give you this one. Let's see. You know, people are afraid of mischievous because apparently it wails at night. But getting a good look at it, this really gives uh, some fresh perspective. Look at how it billows and sways and flows. Hey, that's it. That's what I'll do. I just thought up some uh, charming hairstyles and an enchanting palette of colors, all thanks to you and Mischievous here. Come by any time and try them out for yourself. I will. Let's see what you got. Let's see here. What new hair do we have? I'm going to try it out with the new, uh, with another outfit here eventually. We're going to a new area soon, so might as well get that soon. Braids curled. That's there before. Fancy. Okay. Twin tails. Side swept. Ooh. Modern bob. Oh my god, that's the one though. <laughs> oh, I wish you got that before. Side part. Shorn. Tied back. Oh! That'll look cool with the hat. What the colors we got? Clementine, turquoise, vile. Okay, wait, look at this. Wait. Wow, okay. All right. Okay. That's extremely silly that you can actually become that. I'm not going to use it, but that's silly. I like that. Crimson. Ooh, that's a nice color, actually. White, black. I like the chestnut. No, not chestnut, slate. That's the one that, that looks good with her. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, that. That might look cool with the hat. Alright. Let's get a new outfit too while we're here. Not a bad look. Hat on, please. Ooh, that's pretty cool, actually. That's a nice length and nice cut with it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. That's nice. Hello. New styles. What do you got? Hat staying. Uh, we got just the festival tops. Oh, right. We're going to get the snow jacket because I think the next area is the snow one anyways. So oh, we got a Sneasler electrode. Let's see here. Which one do we want to get? Red. We haven't done anything with red yet. Hmm. Amethyst. Blue spruce, ochre. What do we want to go with? Sapphire, tangerine. Kind of like the sapphire. I'll we'll go with that. Let's see here. Let's get some snow pon uh, snow pants, snow pants to go with it. I don't have to pick the same color. In fact, I might not because they look bad together like that. I mean, we could go full Ash Ketchum, right? If I really want to go for the ash look, sure. Is it horrible? Yeah, a little bit, but that's kind of where the fun is, huh? I can go back to my split toe. Let's put those on. Um, is there, like, snow boots? Ankle boots? Snow boots. Okay. Oh, just for the top part? Well, let's make it match our... Um, our, our, our top there. Let's see here. Which one matches? Like, just with the same uh, lining, mostly. 
The ochre's not too far off. I might just go with, um... Hmm. See, that sucks, because I want it to match the fur lining of the top there. That's the closest, actually. Yep. And uh, anything else here? Oh, we got the snow goggles. I'm not going to use the snow goggles. Okay. There we go. That's an Ash Ketchum color scheme. And that's why I chose it. So, uh, first off, let's go hand that in. Seven merit points. Hey, that's my friend! I wonder how many of these are going to be like my actual friends. I wonder. Um, so, is there... I don't actually see new missions, which is surprising. Was there anything else that we needed to do? Bogbound camp, watering with care, ride on Ursaluna, all about magic carp. We have not done that. I'm just looking to see if there's anything here. Burst 24 balloons. We have not completed that. We have not done that. We can do that. Because that is an important one for sure. More items are very important. Got a special product. Featherball set. Yes, please. Thank you. 30 of them. Not bad. Yeah, let's go get let's go give the salt there so that we can get new items. Oh shoot, I, I gotta get rid of those too. So, well, we'll do that in a little bit. Uh he wants salt. Okay. And let's just go to here. Alright, where 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 says Wormple. Cause I mean the last destination is obviously up north, so that just makes sense that we're going to be needing some winter clothing. Oh, missions on the board, too. Ah, uh, Survey Corps, Troy negotiating for you. Yep. Looking a little protects. Wondering why this old man gets so stubborn over selling the shopkeeper a few things, or maybe I'll tell if you bring me some salt. Well, because you want to be salty, here you go. Brought what I asked for already, no less than I expect, which I could persuade you to join my core. Three chunks of the salt, here you go. Which is, like, worth its weight in gold in this time, of course. Coronet Highland's finest feature. If you see it in the wild, don't pass it over. It's just another rock. Translucent mineral is great for making a potent Pokemon lure. You gotta break it in, break it up with a hammer, then get chunks in a mortar and crunch them up right. Grind them into a powder, mix that powder with another ingredient, pack it together, and you'll get a crunchy cake that Pokemon love to munch on. I can't send you back to Troy, so give it up. Yep, 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 yep. Wanna know what happened to me, me and Troy? Well, that whelp made off with my dearest treasure. Oh, I'll never let him live it down. Is it gonna be like his daughter? Is it like, you married my daughter? Is it like a father-in-law thing? I feel like it's gonna be. Some requests. Uh, ooh. This sounds interesting. Mysterious Pokemon sighting. That's one I wanted. Oh, wow. Jolly good choice there, Kai. I see you've taken the under quest I posted. Let me fill you in right away, then. I was strolling along Prelude Beach the other day when I saw something swimming a little way out, out shore. Rather regrettably, it disappeared before I could snap a picture, but I can only assume this mysterious swimmer were some sort of a Pokemon. From the way it swam, it seemed to be drifting on the ocean currents. Now, if I'm not mistaken, from the seas behind Jubilife, that would take it all the way to the Cobalt Coastlands. It leaves me wondering if the Pokemon was headed there for a specific purpose. Given the circumstances, I uh, was thinking that if we spoke with the good warden Iskan of the Diamond Clan, we might learn more. I think this is one of our first uh, legendary Pokemon quests, if, if I'm mis not mistaken. I got your message, Professor Laventon. So you're looking for a Pokemon that was swimming towards the Cobalt Coastlands, yes? I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you much based on that alone. But there is one thing I can tell you. I've heard that long ago. The Cobalt Coastlands was known as the EC, and a princely Pokemon was said to live in the waters there. We are connecting it with the with the one new piece of dialogue, the one new book in the Canalab library. This is it. This is it from Brilliant Diamond. We're connecting it, finally. The story of this princely Pokemon can be found in a tome called the Seas Legend. Yep, this is the this is it mixing. I love this. I love this cross promotion stuff. But no one knows much about either the tome or its tale beyond what I've just told you. So uh, that's all I know. I guess it isn't much help. Sorry about that. I'll uh, I'll take my leave here then. 
Solve the mystery and catch... Oh. What the heck do we do with that, then? wonder if there's someone with a book. It's my only thought. Anyways... Got goods in stock. Uh, you seem troublesome in the matter. You stole his treasure. Ah, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now. There's nothing you ought to worry about. Give me one fine customer. Imagine I'll give you the full story at some point. Excellent new items on the shelves. Okay, it's, it's absolutely a person. What do you got? You got more balls. You got some of that. Good stuff, good stuff. So what the heck do I do for... Solve the... What do I do for that? Hmm. Well, you said it'd be at the Cobalt Coastlands, right? I want to go check that out then. Because that's, that's, that's quite curious, for sure. We should probably go get some... You know what? Let's go and... Um, I wonder. So, you know what? I'm going to sell my items here. And I'm going to see... Because if we got to actually physically catch the Pokemon, which is a good chance we will, I should probably see if she'll give me access to Ultra Balls by getting my rank up here. Let's see. Progress report, show it. There you go. What do you think? Uh -huh. Level 6, baby! I thought that this would be very, very fast to get all the stars, but it's actually taking longer than I thought. Yes, Ultra Balls. Very good. More recipes. Crafting Ultra Balls. Two Iron Chunks and two Tumble Stones. That's actually easy. Max Potion. Nice. Nice. So, can I talk with you and see if you say anything? Nope. Hmm. Well, let's go in a... One, I'm going to check to see if we can buy Ultra Balls now, because I would like to. We can also make some, of course. Um, let's see here. No, you do not sell them. Can we, do, do we have any that we can get from the farm? Because I did say we, I wanted to make Apricorns at the farm. I think it's, if you go there, yeah, if you go and the field is cleaned out, that means it's, they harvested. Which is... Honestly, a bit counterintuitive in terms of visuals for telling you if it's good enough, but... Alright, what do we get? 64 Apricorns! Hot dang! That's worth it, huh? Mints! Wow! Uh, let's get some... You know what? Give me some berries, actually. We'll try that. 64. Jeez, that's a great way to get it then, huh? Wait, what? Sev oh. oh, like the Sevi Island. Okay. I was like, wait, what? Because my, my, my brain first saw that as Serebi, but it's Sevi, the Sevi Kitchen. I guess that's the name of this place, huh? Okay. Okay, well, let's go out to the Cobalt Coastlands and see if there's something out going on out here, so... Solve the mystery of the, the legend here. Let's go check it out. Maybe we can talk to East Ken or something out here. Maybe there's something out here that we can see. I feel like, it, I feel like they'd make it pretty obvious. Right? Okay, feather balls fly far. Hmm. Hmm. Def oh, whoa, did I just see something glowing in the water? Was I crazy? Did you see something glowing? Hmm. Hmm, nope, I was crazy. Okay. What is the vignetting that sometimes happens out here? It's the only level I really notice it in. Where they just vignette with white white shading. I don't know. My only thought is going out to like... My only thought is actually thinking about the, the three Pokemon that are in the, the Sea Legend there. Which was... A, I know a Quillfish was one of them. Oh, also that's absolutely freaking Maxi. The original Maxi. 
I can't believe I missed that. Like not not um remake maxi, but original Ruby and Sapphire Maxi. Which again makes me go, huh? So let's let's go and take a look here. Let me see. That while we're here. We can go explore a couple places. Okay. If I need to actually get the three Pokemon that need to be here, that's going to kind of suck. I mean, I think it was an Octillery. I know they said an Octillery, a... Um, it was an Octillery, another Pokemon, and a, quote, giant Quillfish. Does that mean Overquill specifically? I don't know. I feel like they won't make it so you have to learn what it is before like i feel like they're not going to make it where it's like oh to get the information you have to read the book in the library in another game that'd be the coolest thing ever and i'd be all for it but i know they won't do that okay nothing there hmm yo alpha gyarados what level are you at bro 50 okay that's not too bad okay so they you can't roar off of your uh, your Pokemon when you're, like, on the water. Which makes sense, because otherwise you would automatically fall, pretty much. That's an Alpha. And he roared. Hmm. Let's grab that while we're here. Ah, uh, they did, they did say the name of a place to go and get this Pokemon. Also, there's an item over here. Are you serious? Really? What could be on this island? Cool. Mud. Was it the, um... Was it that little inlet cave there? There was a location. There absolutely was. God, if it's actually... You need to look up the information... In the one game... To get to the other... That's amazing. Was it here? Tidal Passage? Hmm. He is on there. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Can we Sneasler up the walls in here? Is there anything up above for us to see in here? Okay, wait, you know what? Whoops, that's a mistake. I'm going to read, I'm going to read, not in, I'm not going to load up Brilliant Diamond and do all that, but, um, Brilliant Diamond Panelab Library. Okay, so, um, Canalab, the, the Seas Legend is in Canalab Library. So it says, um, let's see. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish meet them at the Seaside Hollow. The myth abruptly ends with not knowing where the two meet. The East Sea. Yeah, because that's, that's where it was. The Seaside Hollow. Is there a Seaside Hollow here? Son of a gun. Look at that. Seaside Hollow. Oh my god. Okay, if, if, I, if I actually need to then bring a... Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish? I don't think I will, but we'll see here. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Seaside Hollow. Oh my god, it, I think I absolutely need to. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me go and get those three Pokemon. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bring both Overquill and uh, the other one there, just so I could try them both, just to see, okay. Because we have Weasel. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, let's go to get those. I'm also gonna make some more Ultra Balls, because I bet you I'm gonna need to catch this boy. Nice, okay. And we want to go to our party. I want to see my Pokemon. 
I'm going to bring both a quillfish and a... Okay, so weasel. Okay. And a... Uh, I'm going to bring both overquill and quillfish just to be careful. Uh, I know I have another quillfish in here somewhere. Right? Don't I have two? I think I have two. Um... Not I could catch one out on the water. I swore I had more than one. Really? Can I go all pastures? Do I not have... Do I not have another quillfish? I guess we can catch one just while, we, while we're out. Okay, I guess we're going to need to catch a quillfish. That one was a mantike, huh? We did catch a mantike. Um... Right there. Yeah, so we're going to seemingly need to catch a... Just to be careful. Just to be careful. Let's go catch ourselves a... Uh, one of them there. Because when they say an, a, a large quillfish, I don't know which one it specifically means. Because I don't know if they wanted to say over quill but didn't. Or... If they just straight up mean a, a large, hopefully not an alpha quillfish, which I just say passing an alpha, um, alpha Pokemon of my own there. That was a alpha drift bloom, drift loon rather. That should work. There we go, very nice. Right. Let's go check that out. Oh, there, there, there's a... See? I was right in the end. That's... We had both a Drifloon and Drifloon. But... Let's go check this out. I forgot. When I saw Seaside Hall of the Map, I completely forgot about it. Because, I don't know, I thought it would be part of the story and not just a mysterious thing for you to do. This is great, though. Because this reminds me of, like, the Reggies. This reminds me of actual, super difficult, mythical Pokemon being really hidden. No? Hmm... Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. I th okay. I thought I was going to be smart and be like, that's it. I bring in those Pokemon. Um, Seaside Hollow Pokemon. Let's see here. Uh, what is the point? Something gives you fairly long quest. Okay, catch him, evolve it into Overquill. Yeah, we got that. Travel to the camp. Rest until evening. The sun is setting. Oh, what the frick? Okay, hold up. I'm... wait. Wait, is it actually like... I know there... oh, here it is! The book is titled The Sea's Legend. It's a text that was only recently discovered, and its ancient letters were decoded. Would you like to read it? Yes. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asked the Pokemon living in the sea to let them see the Prince. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledge the human's bravery. So yeah, uh, we're going to see Hisuian Quillfish. Because Quill... What, that, 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 we're going to get a different Quillfish. That's cool. Acknowledge the human's bravery and join them. Together they set off in a boat over the sunset streaked sea, sailing through the ocean gate stretched over the waves. News of this reached the ears of the prince, who wanted to meet the brave little party at the Seaside Hollow. That's not a location in any Pokemon game, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to double check with a Google search right now. Wait, is it actually one. like... Oh my god. No wonder I would have never found this. Okay. So, you need to, wow, okay, let's go to, let's go here, 
you need to swim through the... Uh, together, they set off on a boat over a sunset streak sea, sailing through the ocean gate. So we need to be at sunset. We need to go through... Wow. We need to go through the thing at sunset. This is ridiculous. It's li It literally asks you to read a book in another game. Guys, I love this. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite things that a Pokemon game can do, which is just be the most cryptic and ridiculous thing. Because this, to me, reminds me of, like, the myths of old. There we go. You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. That is rad. Now, if I'm correct, I think that to do this mission, though, you do need to... You do need to actually um, have Brilliant Diamond. Like, this is a locked mission. But that's rad. I want more games that do stuff like this. Read a book in one game that you have no idea what it means, and then you come back, and you can do a mission in another game. I love it. I love it so much. Does it want you to buy more than one game? Yes, but that's fine. I like games making you, or incentivizing you to play other games. I love that. There he is. Are we going to get into battle right now? Oh, there's Fione, too. Look at all of them. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was going to save first. I was going to save first. Just be careful. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, can I save? I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. Can I save? Okay, good. Game's letting me save. Oh my goodness, Toho. Okay, wait. I don't want to kill you guys. I want to catch all of you. Okay, is this just the one? No, it's all three. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, this is not good, actually. Okay. This actually might be pretty rough. We'll see here. Um, I guess I could have switched out my team, huh? Could have absolutely switched out my team. All right. I hope you're going to use Zen Headbutt. It avoided it. Good. Water Pulse, that won't do much. Okay. Okay. What levels are you? Level 50, okay. Um, let's do... Let's do Aerial Ace on you. Dang. Dang, you got hands, huh? It's fine. I'm only really worried about the, the big one there. Okay. Banfee's looking around, thank goodness. Okay. Let's do another Aerial Ace, and we should be able to catch you. Okay. Bubble. Fiona is looking around. Man of okay, they're they're pretty docile, all things considered. Okay. Thank God you can catch them even if you're not battling them like this. I mean, I want to catch a Fiona for sure. Good. Even if I I'm gonna catch more than one, by the way. Cause I can. Okay. All right, look around, please. Oh dang! All right, that's fine. We're, we should we should do pretty good here now. I do have Overquill at quite a high level too. So, okay, let's do. Um, Iron Tail's not very effective. Well, let's let's just do a Hex to hopefully not kill you. Good. Don't do water moves, please. Don't do a water move. Well. Okay. Okay. Alright. 
Uh oh. Oof. Okay. It's fine. We'll send up Weasel just to tank a few hits while we catch Fiona here. Okay. Acid armor. Okay. Defensive stats were raised. All right. Catch Fiona in the Great Ball. Thankfully, its catch rate seems to be pretty good. Ah, uh, well, what? I shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. Yo, boy, you survived, though. Look around? Nope, Moonblast. Okay. All right. Okay, here we are. Thankfully, again, if I run out, I can just um, use... um. You know what? We got these. Let's use some of these. Thankfully, if I run out of Pokemon, I can just refresh with uh, outside of battle here. That's got it. Good. Okay. Manaphy. Ah. Uh, okay, good. Uh-oh. All right. Ursulina, Ursuluna's turn. Um, it's pretty powerful, honestly. I think an Agile Thunder Punch sh shouldn't kill it. Come on. You're legendary. Tank this. Good. And that was a crit too. Wow, actually. Okay. All right. Ultra Ball time. Oh. Nice. Caught Manaphy. Prince to the sea and all that. Okay, there's one left. Should catch it. Should absolutely catch that last one. Um, I'm surprised, actually. That felt like a proper boss fight. I like it. Alright, so let's go with... Um, I should just heal up Overquill, because Overquill should be the one to... Overquill's only level 38? Are you serious? That Quillfish we got is almost even more powerful. Okay. 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 Let's catch you over here. Alright, let's just do a... Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse never misses? I guess Pulse moves never miss now. That's actually a nice change, honestly. I can appreciate that. Okay. Let's catch you while we're here. Nice. Good. Okay. This was rad. The fact that you have to research by playing another game... I actually love that. I actually love it so much. I want to know what he's going to say. What's he going to say? So you've caught a mysterious swimmer. So it's Manaphy all along. Seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon drifting to and fro across the seas since long ago. At last, at least that's what it says in the Seas Legend. I had a jug good time getting hold of this tome, but it seems it was worth it in the end. Man. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it so much. I love the fact that the game would actually go and do something crazy like that. Yeah, we got our first legendary, baby. That surprise, or well, mythical, technically. I'm surprised the game doesn't have any, like, prompt or anything for getting a legendary. Let's see here. Most illuminating. So, take heart. That's a new move. I guess they can't do its heart swap, so now it's Take Heart, which is terrifying. Nice. All right. All right. So, I am going to call this here, so that next time we can instead uh, go and do more quests, cash in stuff, all that good stuff. Did not think we'd be going for our first Legendary, but we did. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time for some more. Let's play uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Ciao.